Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog. So today's not really gonna be a vlog as much as just like a tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys the cheapest, cleanest, easiest way to clean the tires on your, well, we're using my 4Runner truck, but you can use car, SUV, sedan, whatever. So here is what we're working with. It has looked a lot worse. We had rain the other day, which kind of made it cleaner, but like it's still pretty bad as you can see. We have these lines from where I rubbed a curb a little bit and it just touched the tire. Um, as you can see, the wheels are super dirty. Um, I mean, the whole thing just needs to be cleaned up. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Okay guys, and this is everything you're gonna need for this cheap, clean, easy car wash with things you have at home. So first things first, two buckets so I got a white bucket and a black bucket uh, just make sure they're clean but uh, you just want something basically one bucket for clean one bucket for dirty I'll show you that later on next things are a simple car wash uh, liquid I use this uh, turtle wax uh, it's got some some actual wax in the soap it's super cheap um, I recommend that I will put a link to all of these products below um, but that is like kind of like the cheapest easiest thing that I found works um, I will be using some armor all extreme wheel and tire cleaner just because my wheels are so dirty it's not necessary but if you have it laying around I highly recommend using it the only tool I will be using for actual scrubbing is this uh, it's like a a bristle brush uh, it just does really good it's not too hard it doesn't scratch um, obviously it's black because I only use this on tires and wheels but uh, make sure you clean that out really good when you're done and before using it because um, you don't want to you know scratch your wheels um, if there's like some some hard dirt or rocks in there and then lastly some armor all extreme tire shine that will give it a nice really good clean black dark look again stay tuned for the end you'll see exactly how good it looks when it's all said and done and again I'll put a link to all of this stuff down in the description below in case you're interested in getting any of it and of course if you have questions leave those down below as well okay so first things first let's prep the buckets with water there's five steps I'm going to take you through with this um, I'm not going to really count this as a step, but we're just going to prep with water. And so we're going to designate one of the buckets, like I was saying earlier, for soap. And we're going to pour the soap in just like that. Now we're going to mix it up with the brush that we're using to clean the wheels. Alright guys, so we're going to jump right into it. This is step one. We're going to rinse the wheel and tire. Spray it down real good. Make sure to get in the tread. Um, just really pay attention and make sure you get any rocks or dirt, anything that's stuck to your wheel or tire off that you can with a simple spray down. Okay guys, let's jump straight into step two here. So we're going to literally spray down the wheels and the tires. I want you to pay close attention to that finger mark I made earlier just to kind of show you that even though this is going to lift a lot of the dirt, um, it still isn't going to substitute actually getting in there and scrubbing. But just, yeah, spray it everywhere. I mean, I like to just kind of cover it. This stuff isn't that expensive. And just kind of let it sit. It looks pretty cool, you have to admit. And now that we've enjoyed watching all of that foam up, it's time to rinse it off. Again, pay attention to the finger mark while I'm rinsing it off. A lot of dirt has come off, but the finger mark is still there, meaning that there's quite a bit of dirt still caked on, even though it looks a lot better. Okay, now we can start step three. So step three is going to be using the bristle brush and scrubbing down the tire and the wheel thoroughly. Again, the bristles are so soft, we're really not going to have to worry about scratching, at least these wheels in particular. If you have different wheels where you feel they might be a little bit more prone to scratching or sensitive, then maybe go easy. But for me, I just scrub it really hard. Again, remember, wash your brush in the dirty bucket. Make sure it's nice and clean before putting it back into the clean soapy bucket to continue cleaning. And now we're going to rinse the wheel off after we scrubbed it down nice and good. Again, notice the fingerprint no longer there. All right, and now we are on step number four. 
So step number four isn't too fun. We're basically, we let it air dry so you can see the tires nice and air dried. I am in the shade at this point. Um, and we're going to dry off the wheel using a microfiber. This will help make sure there's no moisture on the wheel anymore. And it will also help you if you miss any spots, you can just uh, wipe it down. So I am using a yellow microfiber cloth. Shout out Street Speed 717. So just give it a good dry. And now we are on the last and final step, which is spraying down the tire with the tire shine. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray it similar to the cleaner, just all around the, the tire only. Um, in my experience, it really doesn't affect the wheel, but it just doesn't look good, so you will wanna wipe that off when you're done. So just spray it all the way around and let it sit. Now at this point, I have gone around and I've been cleaning all of the wheels, so I'm gonna show you this other one that was done really nicely. It's been sitting a little bit longer, so it just has a good shine to it. The first wheel that I was working on this whole video, you'll notice there's some some runs almost where I laid it on too strong those will go away you don't have to wipe those away but if you're a little bit softer you won't get those as much um, but as you see after it air dries a little bit longer it will look just like this tire and it'll look really good and really smooth all right guys well I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make your wheels and your tires look super clean super easy for super cheap. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate that. If you have any tips or other product or tool recommendations of some of the other newbies out here, um, or not even newbies, right? I mean, just people that want the cheap, easy, quick way to make their wheels look real good fast, leave it down below. Uh, if you like this video, you wanna see more videos of me, my forerunner, entrepreneurial stuff, real estate stuff, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try and put out videos as frequently as I can when I have interesting cool stuff to show you guys. So I'd really like that. Also, a couple key tips I wanted to leave with you guys is um, one, you, you may want to invest in a wheel woolly, maybe like a cheap one. It's basically a long loofah-like sponge that's kind of cylindrical and uh, it'll go between your spokes. My spokes are pretty big, so I usually just kind of scrub them with the brush and then uh, and then dry them and then I'll get anything out with a microfiber, but, um, but that's totally up to you. Um, and then also I would recommend using a hose nozzle. Um, I didn't have mine with me today, so I just didn't use it, but that is a really worthwhile thing to, to get and use. Nothing fancy. Uh, some people like the fire hydrant style. I just like the handle. Those are the quick tips. So anyways, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.